Just because, like, there's an up-and-coming group called June's Diary that, like, gets to tour with him sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, like, I'm just thinking about it now, like, thinking in my head. I'm like, Dad, that's just, that just sucks. Because, like, they was probably looking at that, like, yo, we about to tour with R. Kelly. And then this happens. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you continue touring with R. Kelly? Right. Or do you separate yourself from that? That's why, I mean, it's, it's, you, maybe you shouldn't even try to work with people who are that tricky because things but do you like, know that going into it like is he introducing like yo this is you know it's welcome to the dungeon <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at your own precautions <laughs> you know what but I mean? you know his history you know he's r kelly you know his history yeah. so you never know when another I also scandal think people choose to be places that they want to be yeah i don't know that one um if what because he's, of course, he's denying it, because of course he will. But at least he has, you know, the intelligence to deny it, unlike okay, someone else we're about to get to. to. <laughs> but, it, exactly. But if this is true, what they're saying, and it affects, it affects his career negatively, he kind of just had that coming on himself. Yeah. Because it's like, duh, it's going to come to the light eventually, you idiot. Like, especially if you're doing it with, like, 15 different girls, do you really expect it you not to get exposed? You know what I mean? The weird part of it to me is, though, it's like, how do you... How do you? How did you let people into this, to where the point now that there's like videos of the girls, you know what I'm saying, getting asked questions and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. that's just mad weird. <laughs> that's not mad weird. Like how did? How do you just open? How did this? How did this even get exposed? Um. Oh, because one of the girls, the young girls, uh, when her parents said that he, she was basically like kidnapped and brainwashed. And now they're trying to sue whatever, and now he's trying to counter sue for defamation. You know how that whole thing goes. So that's how everybody that, trying to sue. Yeah, they say like he doesn't let them call her, call her their parents and talk to their parents. They have to cut everybody off. They have to get permission first to make a call. And then she came out and she was like, "No, I'm not talking to them just because I don't want to talk to them, and I'm here because I want to be here." And yeah. she's 19. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I've seen that. That sounds like bedroom power to me. Okay, drama. <laughs> That. Anyways, speaking of, <laughs> but it's also it's just, it's just yeah. Moving on from now. Speaking on. of yeah, <laughs> someone who's uh, being eerily quiet is my boy Usher. Man, this makes me way sadder than the R. Kelly thing. Cause no. Usher, lit what are you saying? No. He was he was definitely um, um, not vocal, but he showed in a way that what's going on with that is just. But foolery, it's not. He didn't show That's what I'm anything. I don't know what to show? believe anymore. He did, he did a, a show with one of those, um, one of those, uh, like Jim, Jimmy Farrell or somebody like that, where mm. he was in the car riding around singing all of his Oh, oh like the uh, karaoke. Basically saying what they're talking about, he don't even have to acknowledge. But that, those carpool karaoke's are pre-recorded though, so that, I think that, that happened, happened a long before, time exactly, before all of this hit. And then since it's all come out, he hasn't said anything. And there's court documents being released and everything. It just looks really bad. How many women is it? Is it just one or is it... Three women and a man. Oh. And that's the thing too is I feel bad on one hand because that's... His business is all on the street. And something like that happens. That's something you want to keep private. But I don't you know think I mean? that's something that happened. That's what I'm saying. Was... It's just weird though. Everything is... I don't know what to believe. But why isn't anything. he saying anything? Because it's... In, in, in the court system and people can say what they want about you because you're a celebrity and you kind of got to take it and move with it if it ain't true there's no reason for you to go stupid speaking about it because it just makes it worse he doesn't have to go stupid he can make one statement and leave it at that to say nothing but, what's that, but what is that going to do though? is what do you mean it's going to make his fans feel a little better that it's not true but if you say nothing and everyone is accusing you and suing you for millions of dollars for giving them herpes and you're not saying anything at all, saying no, this did not happen, or they're not telling the full truth, or something. Is people are gonna assume that it's true? That's just the way it is. That's the way society works. It's if you say assumption. nothing, it's an assumption. People like you said. Take, it is, but society. If you are silent, society takes silence as an admission of guilt, mm -hmm. and it's, that's just the way it is. It, that's what celebrities deal with. If you think about it, to a certain extent, there's so many things that people say about celebrities that they don't even acknowledge because people can say what they want and when they take it to the court system it's all about what's going on with them so they kind of got to deal with it and and and, and figure out the best because you can't go back and forth with, with 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 lies all the time right that's why i said this it's just weird to me 
how things like this even happen. Now, I gotta ask you guys, because you guys were trying to shut it down before we even really got into it, is are you guys letting your respect or whatever for how you like Usher or whatever, because, you know, he's been around since the early 90s. We all kind of grew up on him. Are you guys letting that cloud your judgment when it comes to the possibility of this being true? No, not at, not at all. Are you sure? Absolutely, because... For me, this goes all the way back to like even just like the Bill Cosby thing. Like, to me, just, this is not just like all the of, Bill Cosby. No, but like, not, <laughs> no, but I just mean the way that people can just come out saying anything. Yes, they can. And not even really. You don't. You don't have to have a. a what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like, you don't even have to have anything. You don't even have to have any real knowledge on anything, or even any real resource. You can just say what you want about a celebrity and somebody's going to take that and post it somewhere oh, and then it's going to become <laughs> yeah and then it's going to become a big thing okay that is that's very that's 100 percent true ron but it's not a lot of times when people go to court and sue you for millions of dollars and yeah, they just that but and i want to say that i'm saying this just because so, i want everyone to see both sides because i'm not saying that i think this is 100 percent true we really don't know we were not there there's mm -hmm. no way to know for sure and and oh yeah, I'm gonna get to that. I know about that. And um, um, and I wanted to say that if this was true, on one hand, I feel very bad for Usher for his business being on the streets. And right. now, when people hear his music, that's all they're gonna think about. And it's very unfortunate. And on the other hand, I'm kind of pissed at him because if you know that you have an STD, don't go around sleeping with a bunch of different people unprotected and not telling them that. Like. You're just asking to be exposed and sued for millions of dollars. You are Usher. What are you doing? It's it's bad enough for anybody of no wealth or no status to do it. But when you're someone who has so much to lose, that's just one of the dumbest things you can do. Even if you got to get every girl that you sleep with to sign a, a confidentiality agreement. Oh, well, it's a hassle. But do it just to avoid things. Like, yo, baby, I need to sign that, those papers. Seriously. Before we lay down. They, a lot of... Drake doesn't let girls in his hotel room until they give him their cell phone. Like, they, he doesn't even let you in the room until you give him your cell phone because he doesn't want you taking pictures. And it's just, people get annoyed about it, but it's just one of those things you have to, why are you laughing? Because <laughs> it's like, hey, you trying to come in this room, I need you to drop your phone in the box. Exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what he does. Like, he's like, everybody got to put their phones on the table. Like, he's not playing no games. And honestly, agreement. <laughs> whatever you guys are in the music you know anything could happen y'all could blow up in a year and y'all gotta be aware of this type right. you're not laughing about it now but when you're in that situation and you seen your you sleeping and you see right. get posted on the shade room you're gonna be like damn i should have took the drake way yeah. <laughs> you I know mean, everybody saying? should just have a little bit more respect for themselves just in general though like why do you want to be that person to ruin usher's career or they just want ruin his exactly, but that's what I'm saying though. Like, why, why, like, when, not even say when, but why are people, or why in the general as a society, why are we so fascinated with or motivated by having money to do the craziest things? Even oh, if yeah. it means assassinating somebody's character. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, but if somebody knowingly gave me an STD, I wouldn't be caring about their character too much. But if. Knowingly, no, right. But. If that person wasn't Usher and it was just some normal person, there wouldn't be no big controversy or something to talk about. Well, would you take it to a public world type thing? Like, I'm just going to tell the world I got herpes too. Right. Listen. I'm going to put it on Facebook. Whether it was Usher or someone not Usher, I wouldn't be <laughs> exposed to that for the world anyway. But these women are different. Um, but a, a few of them are remaining anonymous. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about, because Jerome was just showing me the story and I already knew about it. There's this one young lady, uh, Quintasia or something like that, who just did a press conference the other day with celebrity attorney Lisa Bloom, saying that Usher exposed her to herpes, but she tested negative, yet she still wants to sue or something to that nature. Um, and this girl, nobody is buying what she's selling. And this is why kind of Lisa Bloom kind of annoys me, because she... Just um, she just represented Black China against the whole Rob Kardashian, a revenge porn thing, whatever. But this one, this lady, she's so quick to believe sorry, everybody. That's what they're calling it, revenge porn. That's what it is. That's what. Oh wow. When you post and you post news of someone without their permission to give back at them, that's what it is. Okay. And it's illegal in the state of California. Mm. 
<laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, women. You better have been in Vegas when you sent Guys, pictures. no matter how much they piss you off, just don't, don't, don't post it. Just stay off social media, man. It's just the best thing to do. And cool, cool down for a minute. But um, that particular young lady who did the press conference, and she's the only one who's you know out there publicly. Um, she's actually been known to do this. Like her friends exposed her talking about her lying on celebrities. She lied about having twins with August Alsina. She lied about sleeping with Kirk Cobain. She lied about being in a relationship with Keith Powers. She lies a whole lot and now she's trying to now she's trying to get in on this Usher thing so she can get some attention and some money. You know what I mean? And people have been exposing little things like earlier this week she tweeted right before that whole thing, oh, I need some money. And then the same day she did a press conference, she's like, I'm enjoying my last couple hours as a regular girl. So she is definitely seeking attention. Yeah. A whole lot of it. And this is something consistent with her. And she says Usher pulled her up on stage and... She just gotta find a hobby. And I'm not gonna say anything because people have been making a lot of rude comments about her weight. And to me, her weight don't mean anything. Who's no. to say that Usher don't like big girls? Like, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't mean he didn't sleep with her. You know what I mean? So that, to me, was stupid. Yeah, yeah. But, but she, she just got to find a hobby. When you're a consistent liar like that, you can't expect people to, to believe you now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when you're so public about your... It's just stupid. I hate liars. <laughs> what, do, what, what do you get out of lying on celebrities like She's trying you're to. getting the attention and we're giving it to her right now you know what i'm saying we are giving it to her i mean Charlemagne, the guy gave her donkey the day on the breakfast club and that's just so much exposure so right much because you just <laughs> look her up now exactly <laughs> but um you know we have some people in <laughs> the chat who don't believe don't read that comment out loud <laughs> gosh uh, Everett doesn't believe that Usher has herpes and he's like, people can't get their story straight. Um, I think it's really just that one girl who can't get the, her story straight or whatever like that. But I do want to say hi to the people that are in the live chat on speaker. Hi, Lori. Hi, Rob. Hi, Everett. Hi, Danielle. And what's up, Jazz? Thanks for being here with us tonight. Now, um, on to less depressing and gross uh, news. Um, so anybody who listens to The Lounge knows that I am a major, major Disney head. Mm. So I've been uh, really excited about the news we, well, I've been excited and kind of disappointed a little bit in the news that we've been getting. So first of all, I'm kind of disappointed because I heard Disney is um, pulling all their movies from Netflix to start their own streaming yeah, service. Yeah, like what's, what's the point? In, like, I love Netflix. I am such a, a Netflixster. <laughs> I watch Netflix. If I'm watching anything on TV, it's probably on Netflix or HBO Go. But that kind of sucks, though, because like they're going to like pull all of this stuff from like the children's side of Netflix, right? Like, yeah, the kids the kids side, are, they're not going to have nothing now. That sucks. Nothing. Like, it's, it's I'm going to feel bad for my nieces. Well, actually, my nieces are really into DreamWorks. Like, my youngest niece, all she cares about is Minions. And I'm just right. like, oh, why? Those damn Minions. There's a lot of... <laughs> DreamWorks and Disney crossover stuff what? and Pixar and Disney like wait DreamWorks and Disney don't cross over what you talking about she, she thinks she knows everything about Disney I do okay cause first I'm of like, all I do cause if you look on the website all, it shows you like second of all I wanna put it on the record the for Rome 700 that um the little fairy <laughs> he already knows what I'm about to say <laughs> Tinkerbell is not the tooth fairy I just wanna put that on record but, wait, final what? time See? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now, let me let me give you the logic. Rome they're 700 both, thought Tinkerbell was the, two, was the two fairies. They're both fairies. So you can call them the same thing. Different they type both of fairies. fly around with the butterfly wings. And they Tinkerbell do. is a pixie. All right. <laughs> they're too close to not call them the same. And to Boom. Tinkerbell... Since you, wanna have, since you think you got all the answers. What? Like I said, Shrek is a Disney and DreamWorks crossover. That's a lie. Ants uh -oh. is a Disney and uh -oh. DreamWorks crossover. Challenge? Ants DreamWorks. Challenge? 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 Chal I challenge that information that you're pulling up okay. and don't you show me a Wikipedia article. <laughs> <laughs> straight from Google. <laughs> All genres. I mean, it's facts. Cause Disney cruise. and DreamWorks are two different things and Disney they are has no stock in Shrek or Ants. Ants, first of all, it wouldn't make any sense for Disney to do a movie like 
A Bug's Life and then turn around and do Ants, which is basically a not as good rip off of Bug's Life. You know, I do like I do like Ants. But those are like the same movie though. I, I really like but Ants. I used to think they were the same movie growing up. I do like. like Ants, but A Bug's Life is definitely a superior movie. Yeah, it is. That's like saying Pinocchio.